what's up everyone, this is Silver Reploid CLA. How are you guys doing YouTube? That's right, the Silver Reploid coming at you loud looking fresh in the flesh on the next one on stream. Today is Sunday, otherwise known as Retro Sunday Gaming. And before I get started, I just want to wish everyone a happy, happy Sunday this morning. Today's game we're going to be playing is Noah's Ark. The manufacturer for this week is Intertech. No one submitted their suggestions so far, so today I'm going to be playing Noah's Ark. There are only a few games in this manufacturer. So with that being insinuated, let's go ahead and get started with today's game with Noah's Ark. Okay, so for those of you who've heard of the story of Noah, he built an ark, which is this thing right here. And it was to protect the animals from the flood, and of course himself, in this game also. And I also seen a cartoon a few years ago, and it was pretty interesting. And so is this game right here. But I like this version of the game better. And as you can see on the bottom left, that is my Reploid Blitz Mag. It's my custom made Mega Man X character. I may, well... I found a picture on Google Images, and I kind of edited it out to make it look like the um, picture that I have on my YouTube profile, and of course Google Plus. So yeah, with that being insinuated, um, it's one of my favorite OCs, and as you can see, he's just looking like he about to blast. He got his B Buster, and yeah. So today's game I'm gonna be playing is Noah's Ark once again, and hopefully for next week I'll get a few suggestions from you guys. So that way you guys can get a free YouTube shoutout, so that way you can, it'll get you to where you need to be. So the objective is the same. Retrieve the animals and make sure they, they're guided to the Ark. So, yeah, this game is kind of hard because, well, the Flood is very tricky. It's fast. If you touch the animal, one of the animals, they'll flood the pair. You bring the pair of animals to the Ark. Actually, what I'm talking about. Hold on. As you can see, Noah is building his ark for the animals to disembark to. Okay, so it's open. The idea is to grab each animal. Got the kangaroo. This game only contains one button, and of course the movement. The button is to grab. And to release the animal, you have to be close to the ark, the entrance to the ark. Then press the button again. Each set you have in the ark get a big bonus, and when you clear the level, you get more bonus. And when you hear that sound, that means that flood is coming, so you have to be very quick. There are many pairs of animals at the bottom, almost close to the ocean, so you definitely don't want to get close to the ocean. After the monkeys, I might go for one more pair, and that's the camels, So I love camels. Okay. That done, you got the zebras down there. I love zebras too. Here are the camels. Camels are like llamas. I mean llamas. And when you hear that sound, that means that the a pair of animals have been washed away. Meaning that they died. So you have to keep going. And that unicorn, by the way, I don't know how to retrieve. I don't know if there is a point for that. I don't know try to catch it, I guess? I don't know. But it's tricky, because it teleports everywhere. That set's done, and when you're done with all the sets, you go to the arc. And then, I wish that flood there is like bonus, not just a small bonus, I'm talking about like, whatever flood you have left, like survival, it counts as a few bonus points and stuff, you know? But, evidently it doesn't, so it doesn't matter, I guess. Then you commence the next level, phase two. And as I mentioned, the game gets harder at each level you pass, so keep that in mind. This this time I have five sets, so it's probably recommended you start at the bottom part first to get the bottom animals. But chances are the tide might come in very fast, so you have to be very quick. And since and as I get the pair of camels. And the skunk, and the god dog, it, is already coming. But regardless, like I was saying, if I get this camel, the pair of skunks, and a pair of monkeys, I'm going for the zebra next. It gets tough. And as you go a lot more further in this game, you have different pairs of animals. You have different animals like the alligator or the uh, antler. 
I mean a deer. And you also have the elephant as well. And bears. Grizzly bears. Let me stop talking again. Let me concentrate on this thing here. And let me tell you guys about yesterday. After I got done with my reaction videos, I spent a lot of time playing Undertale. It's one of my favorite games now. You guys you guys have been telling me and telling me and telling me that I should play Undertale and react to videos pertaining to Undertale. It's pretty it's very funny and a very cool RPG game compared to any other RPG games I know. I like the part where Papyrus and Sans met Frisk for the very first time, and of course, Papyrus showed him around his house, and when Papyrus' dog in the cabinet in the kitchen came out with his bone, he, uh, oh, I forgot I had zero cents. He, Sans came out of his room and he played a trumpet saying, wah, wah, wah. I died laughing, and it was too funny. Come to think of it, though, it's going to be hard to beat the high score of this game. It's like 9,000 or something. Well, you know. So regardless, about Undertale, I might, I'm almost close to the end. And chances are, I might clear before I live stream the thing again. I don't know. Although, I did see a few votes pertaining to the poll of what to do next. There's an open. What you guys want me to do next for my live stream next... Ah! Stuck. What do you guys want me to do for next Friday's live stream? And it's amazing how I got like two votes so far. I could use more people, so if you would, please refer to my poll link. The link's in the description where I tell you guys about what you guys want me to ask you guys what you want me to do next Friday night or this Friday night since last week is already over now. So go to the tweet poll and vote for your, your choice. And by the manufacturers. I'm going to choose different varieties of different games pertaining to that manufacturer like Nintendo, Commodore 64, or Arcade. And yeah, we'll go from there. Let me grab this camera. I wish the flowers were easy to walk through. But it's not. It's nothing more but an obstacle. Okay. Got the next sit in. And you got the giraffes and the deers. I'm gonna go with the deers. Because they're a lot. A, bit, a little bit more closer compared to the giraffes. So. You really have to hurry when it comes to this. Here we go. It's going to be pointless to go any further, so let's just go ahead and go inside the arc. Okay. I find this game very amusing. I'm not being sarcastic, I'm just being real because I saw this game years ago. And yeah, it's pretty cool. A great game indeed. There's a rainbow and a bird on top of the arc. And now I commence phase four. This is probably gonna be a harder one. Cause chances are the tide might come in quicker. Yeah, there's the elephants. Look how they're walking. <laughs> Monkeys. S Sorry I sped it up a little bit. Here comes the tide. And this time I had six sets. It's coming in fast. I hear it. It's coming more faster. I know it because it's starting to tap more simultaneously a lot quicker. Well, make the beep sound a lot more quicker. Okay. Going down here. It gets tough. It really does.
It's coming in. I know it is. And chances are I might watch the giraffe by the time I come back down there. Really have to hurry. I gotta go fast on this one. Or the flower. Ride a giraffe. Go, 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 go. Come on. The joker coming in. Oh, here it comes. Come on, come on. I got you, buddy. I'm so glad I got you. There we go. Got the giraffe. Great. Alright, go in. You know, come to think of it, I might think about getting a green screen because I know how most YouTubers use the green screens like Dashy or Bullies and Ace or heck, even a few other YouTubers I know who've been live streaming and stuff. I'm thinking about getting a green screen soon. So, what do you guys think I should do? Well, you know, never, never mind. And now we got the alligators. And this time I have to go with, go get seven, a pair of seven animals. Is it an alligator or a crocodile? I don't know. Okay, grab these guys. The ducks. Crud. Right when I had the second set done. Just goes to show you my point exactly, it gets tough. So, yeah. Okay. We got these guys, the Wildcats or Tigers. And there's the ostriches. You know, each time you lose, I wish you can resume with the same amount of sets that you have right now. How many sets you completed? I mean, how many you have left? I didn't just start from scratch because that would completely suck. Okay. Bringing in the ostriches. There we go. Or are they geese? No, geese look different than ostriches. Okay, bunny rabbits. Go, 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 go. No, come on! Here comes the wave. And each time you lose, you'll just be like X not the stage or something. Come on! I gotta be quick. Come on, damn. Previously, I was a lot quicker than that. Now I'm gonna get the bunny rabbits next, so that way, or the tigers on second thought. So that way, I won't have to face the tiger. That's probably my only stretch I can think of at this moment, at this very moment. Update on the capture card stuff, though. Um, I'm thinking about getting lines next month from Loopies compared to the other website that I told you guys about, because it's because Loopies is a lot more cheaper. And you guys might probably say, the cheaper the price, 
less quality the product will be, which it doesn't matter. It still act as a capture card for 3DS, so it doesn't really matter to me. Dang it! I was meant to get. Ah, I meant to go for the ostrich, not the elephant, but I better be quick. Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah. Okay. You're safe. Go! 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 All right. Go down. All right. Got it. There we go. That's what I was supposed to do. And we got 7,000 points. Now all I have to do is to get the last set. Hopefully I can hurt before the tide comes in. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, man, that's a huge bonus. I beat the high score. That was so awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. This is my first time being the high score of this game, though. Last time was kind of suckish. Phase number six. Here we go. This time I gotta get a set of eight. Forgot the release button. Dang. Well, not release, but press the button. Alright, next set. Dang it. I almost jumped on it. Thanks, huh? I always hate how I do that. No, I don't even care what happens if I get game over, I still beat the high score. Same thing goes for other games, I'm sure. Yeah. That's how I did the previous episode, Fighter and Attacker. Now, back to the capture card. Um, when I get the capture card, I'm going to soon purchase... Fire Emblem Awakening. Well, one of my subscribers, Kimiko, told me wanted me to try out Fire Emblem Fates. But uh, I saw the cutscenes of Fates on YouTube, and it kind of made me sad how a few people were dying. The mother, uh, Azura, the one that sung a few songs in her true form, yet and dark form, and it was pretty insane. It was like sad how they were just vanishing and stuff. So yeah, I might go for that by the time I get a capture card if I have enough money for it. And go from there. And you guys might probably ask me how our live stream is going. It's going well despite the fact that people sometimes don't show up for my streams. But it doesn't matter. I'm still doing good though. Still trying hard. I try hard to get people to attend my streams and stuff. Is that Joker coming fast? Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. I just knew it would do that. That's the first time I've seen something like this from my point of view. I, trust me, I've seen this before on YouTube, guys. Next set, the camels. Now back to what I was talking about pertaining to my live streams. They're going great so far. I only have like, only a few people, even if I, well, I try my best to share my Livestream channel everywhere because I want to get a tons of people. I want to get a ton of people on my livestream channel as my audience 
just like, you know, attend the chat and stuff. It'd be pretty cool. And, yeah, just like how I did when I was playing Undertale as my first live stream, which I think I might restream again this Friday night because, well, I'm almost getting close to the end. As I mentioned, I, I had a hard time going against Undyne and uh, a few other characters on there. And, of course, maybe when I get done later on, Maybe I want to get done with this video, I might do more because I might Asgord. But first, before I go any further, I might need to take a long trip to give me some hot dogs from there. And so that way, when I battle Asgord, I'll have something for me to eat. So that way, I won't lose my HP. And of course, I don't have enough HP levels. All I've been doing is acting and sparing. <laughs> But I've been doing great thus far. Avoiding the attacks. That's how every RPG game should go when it comes to battles and stuff. It'd be so swell. But yeah, I love Undertale to the fullest. And you guys have been urging me a long time ago to play this game. And next thing that happens is that I instantly love the game to the fullest. <laughs> Just stand there and wait till the tide comes in. I just knew it would do that. Only got two more lives remaining. In the same process, I'm still gonna get game over anytime soon not going to matter to me because I already reached a high score. And this has turned out to be a good episode of Retro Sunday Gaming already. So, I don't mind, seriously. <clears throat> Regarding school, however, I'm almost done. Last day is on May 5th. I'm doing very well. Also, I am lucky that I did a bit good in English. My average rates are from 8 to 82. I'm doing well. And my other classes too. In public speaking, I'm doing very well. We have to do our last speech, commencement speech. Wow. What motivated us to graduate from high school to the current institute we're in. Something like that. Gonna go with the motivations, the quotes. How it got me to where I need to be. It's going to be very simple. At first, it was confusing. At first, at first it was a bit perplexing. So, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting there, guys. Been motivated by you guys. Been motivated by many other people to get where I need to be. It's really awesome. You know, I wonder what that unicorn is for. Maybe to get an ultra bonus. I don't understand why it keeps popping out a lot. Please don't give me this to time. I'm too ancient to be washed away. Did it again. Only one more life and I'm done. No matter because I'm still gonna reach the high score. <laughs> so I still I still really love I really love this game. I really do. This time I fast forward because I want to hear that loud thing. Maybe jump again. <laughs> I 
Also, we are only a few more subscribers away to 1,400 subscribers. It's getting there. Each time, each day that passes, the number increases. I love that. You guys are the best. Definitely the best. <clears throat> okay, let me get this elephant. And the other one. Okay. Go for this next set. I'm gonna go with the bunny wraps this time. You might find this odd, but if I get the rabbit, I'm gonna love guinea pigs and other animals forever. Kittens and stuff. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> that sounded too odd. But I got the bunny wraps. And fall of the whole entire game show. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I'm done. Lucky for me, I beat the high score. C L E. And. Booyah. That's my high score right there, Red Floyds. That was a pretty great run. A one coin run that was too awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here I hope you guys enjoyed me to the fools I thank you guys for tuning in to the episode of retro Sunday gaming another successful episode is complete if you will and now to suggest next week's manufacturer and the manufacturer I'm thinking about going for is hmm what can I go for one manufacturer I never tried before uh, hmm. I might go for what is a good manufacturer? Hmm. I was going to go for a Japanese manufacturer, but I'm not going to get to that point at this very moment. I'm thinking about going for oh, I know. I might go for Konami. I'm going to go for another Konami game, so if you have any suggestions pertaining to Konami, make sure you leave them in the comment section or tweet into me at SilverReploid, so that way, well, yeah, go for the suggestion pertaining to the manufacturer, and if you get the right choice pertaining to the manufacturer, you'll get a YouTube shout-out on YouTube, but if you get the suggestion that matches my suggestion I'm intending to go for, you'll get a shout-out on both YouTube, and I'll also shout-out your YouTube channel on my Twitter page, so that way people can subscribe to you. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video once again. And make sure you check out my other gaming videos and other contents on my YouTube channel. Don't get to subscribe for more. Don't get to follow me on Google Plus and Twitter links in the description. Don't get to join my community links in the description. Don't get to share because you care. Like, comment, favorite. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button because it keeps me going. It keeps me going, doing more YouTube videos for you guys because I love YouTube. And you guys to the fullest. More videos to come soon. This is Robert Floyd CLA. Love you guys once again. I'll see you guys in the next video.